Hello, fellow creatives. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I heard that you want some vanilla content. Well, here's a uh, chemistry lab slash workshop design that I built. Let's go ahead and come down and get a look at it here. There it is. Has even a front loading dock. It's no mods. And uh, at the end, I'll show you a couple alternate ways you can customize the look and the utility of this. You can just do this, pop this out here, pop these in there, you know, easy storage. And then if you need room for your smaller dinos, you kind of come in here and jump right in here. So stick around. You can expect inspirational building vids like this every weekend now. So go ahead, hit that bell notification icon next to the subscribe button and we'll jump straight into the tutorial. All right, ladies and germs, here's the very beginning of the tutorial. This is the equipment list. Uh, as you can see, there's a dinosaur gate, dinosaur gateway, lots of other things. There's stuff for a greenhouse and as well as a workshop area. So this is all the materials you're gonna need for the default build. But at the end, we are going to explore some different concepts. So you might wanna keep those in mind and maybe watch the end of the tutorial before you start crafting objects. So here is the pattern of foundations you're gonna to wanna to lay down for your uh, workshop. So down at the very bottom, that's gonna be the loading dock area. And that is a five by three wood foundation pattern. Right in the middle, that's your workshop area. And that's gonna be a two by six stone foundation pattern. And then up at the top, uh, towards, the, towards the top is the uh, the greenhouse area, and that is gonna be a two by three stone foundation pattern ringed on three sides by wood foundations. Okay, so go ahead, build that foundation uh, pattern out, and we'll go ahead and get started actually building. So I'm going to jump down here, load up my rifle, and come on over here. And we're gonna do something kind of cool that I haven't really seen before. Uh, see this kind of stone foundation area? It's, it's stone, right? Okay, great, it's stone. Wonderful. Uh, what if we come over here and kind of hide this kind of uh, this 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 wood area here? So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take stone seal uh, stone wall, place it right here, and we're going to go ahead and ring the entire area with this. And this is going to close off this, so you can't see underneath here. It's a neat little snap point thing that didn't always used to be there. Uh, there is one issue is that uh, if you don't have object collision turned off in your arc rules, then you may have trouble getting it down below. So see see how I can't kind of get it down here? Ugh. That's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but uh, where you can, you should go ahead and place these down. Oops, I did have it. There we go. So I cheated a bit and uh, ghosted underground to place these. Uh, if you can't do the same, like I said, don't worry about it. It's just a kind of aesthetic thing, and uh, it's it's totally optional. So you don't have to do it if, you, if the OCD kind of gets to you of not having everything exactly the same. Believe me, I understand. So let's go ahead and get started on the next step. So the next step is going ahead and placing uh, a wood fence foundation here and snapping it to the end of the stone foundation. You're gonna to wanna to do that for both sides, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to take a ramp and place a ramp here and a ramp here. And then you take a dino foundation or a dino gate frame and paste it right there. So you're gonna to wanna to do this for the other side as well. So once we've got our dino frames up here on both sides, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and start working on our walls, right? Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna put thatch roof right here and right here. And we're also gonna put one on this side right here, okay? So we just need one on this side and two on this side. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that over here. Great, okay, there we go. So now once we have our thatch roofs on here, we're gonna go ahead and bring out a walls right here. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the wall here and tilt it down to where the blue side is showing and go ahead and paste that in. Do that here as well on, on all these. You're gonna to wanna to do that when you're placing these. And then here on this side, you're gonna to wanna to go up all the way up to the top of the dino gate. So that's three more. And then here, you're gonna to wanna to go up just three high right here. And then here, just put one more right there. And that's the uh, pattern that you want to establish. 
Okay, so now that we have that figured out, let's go ahead and get rid of these ceilings. And let's come over here and do the same here. Now on this side, you're gonna repeat the same kind of pattern. You're gonna do this, and then you're gonna bring it up all the way to the dino gate top, and then you're gonna bring this up so it's three high. All right, now once you get this done, you mirror it over here onto the other side. Now that we have our walls the way we like them on both sides here, we're gonna go ahead, start working on the front. So here on the front, we've got a couple things we need to do, okay? So the first thing is we need to put a wood fence foundation right there. It can be right here too if you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just so we have a fence foundation to snap pillars to. Then we take a ramp and we put that right there so we can get up really easily. And then we're gonna take pillars and put two on this side and two on this side, just so it's like that. So it's nice and mirrored, okay? And then we'll take a railing, which I have right here, and I'm gonna put the railing right there. So you take this whole kind of uh, assembly and you mirror it on this side. Now we've got these down, we're gonna wanna go ahead and put a temporary thatch wall here. And then on this side, a sloped thatch wall right. And over here on this side, we're gonna wanna do a sloped thatch wall left. Now we're gonna get rid of those, that's why they're thatch, okay? But first, we're gonna wanna take this ceiling and I wanna bring this all the way across, like so, to the edge. And then we're gonna wanna take a stone roof. And if we're gonna get it to attach, there we go. Then we're gonna wanna take a stone sloped roof and paste it in like so. It goes all the way across. Okay, that one needs a little bit of help. There we go, very nice. All right, so now that we have these, we can go ahead and get rid of these and they should stay thanks to the pillars. Awesome, okay, so cool. Now that we have our kind of a loading dock area here, uh, we are going to go ahead and transition a little bit over to the greenhouse area so the greenhouse area is gonna be similar, but different, okay? So here on the greenhouse area, we're gonna ring this with greenhouse walls. And we don't need to do any roofs because the walls are identical on both sides. So we don't need to put thatch roofs on the outside. We do that, we bring it down, and then we're gonna bring an extra greenhouse wall right here, and an extra greenhouse wall right here. Then on this side, we're gonna do a sloped wall uh, left, and then on this side, sloped greenhouse wall right. So then we take our sloped greenhouse roof, bring it across like so. This is the easy part, I have to say. Okay, so then we put ceilings across the top like this. All right, now to get the enclosed kind of greenhouse feeling, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a slo uh, sloped door frame right there. Just a door frame, not a sloped one. And a door frame right there, and then we're gonna fill the rest of this in with greenhouse walls. Brilliant! Okay, so now that we have our greenhouse, let's put a door right here. And a door right there. Okay, very nice. So, now let's go ahead and head in here, and let's place down some large crop plots. We're gonna do that on these stone brick areas here. So you just line them up as best as possible. Unless you really want them straight, then you can do that. But, uh, what I'm just gonna do is gonna place them down here really quick so that they uh, just kind of cover these stone areas very nicely here. And they should look like that. All right, perfect. So right about now is when you're gonna wanna bring your dung beetle in. So got my dung beetle right here. Let's go ahead, bring the old guy in and just toss them off. There you go. You can start uh, producing uh, dung and stuff like that for our crops. Um, and then you can put them in like a compost bin, which you could probably put in the corner here if you want. Uh, but uh, at this point, let's go ahead. Let's work on some, uh, some, some piping and stuff, okay? So here's how I do it, is I have this kind of uh, this way here where I basically just kind of line it up with the edge here back up against the wall, and then right when it comes close, 
it should, yeah, right about there. And then you want to kind of just move around till you can kind of see it so it doesn't get like all crooked and stuff. And if you really want to compare, you can just bring it up against this straight bit here. Yeah, that's pretty close. And then you just kind of do this to where it's just really just sort of sticking out and then place it. And that way, uh, when you put the stone tap, it should be like right in the center of the seam there. And it looks like it is. So what we can do is we can go ahead, we can place the rest of these. Looks like I got it a little crooked. So I'll probably want to go back and fix that at a later date. But that's kind of how you want to do it. And then you can place stone taps right here, right here, and right here. And that will water your crops. In fact, you probably only really need one, but just for symmetry's sake, um, I put three. All right. So then you go ahead and what you could do is you could put a uh, vertical pipe right here in the middle. Um, it's not visible, but it goes right through this metal seam. And then you can uh, do that. See? So that's pretty cool, right? You can do that. It just kind of hides the piping pretty well, I think. Um, and uh, you can take that out to your water source. Okay, so once you have all that, you can do some uh, refertilizer uh, or just fertilizer and put some seeds in, uh, which I will do right now. So let's just go ahead and drop some stuff in. All right, there we go. And you see that we have a 300% greenhouse effect, which is great. So you have enough crop plots to do all six of the major advanced crops, which is great. So let's go ahead. Let's come out here. And let's start working on the roof here because this 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 needs some work. It needs some help, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to just basically do this. Just put wooden window frames all the way across the top right here. And then mirror that on the other side. Yes, you do want wood. Trust me, it'll look better that way. I tried it with greenhouse glass on this side and it looks a little funky because it wasn't it's not really part of the greenhouse. So once you have that done, put some uh, greenhouse windows right in here just to kind of match the, uh, the style of the greenhouse. Now that we've got windows and window frames in, let's go ahead, let's work on the main roof here. So here's what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna fly up a bit. Uh, if you have a tapahara, you can of course do that. Otherwise you can build ladders uh, to kind of get up to here uh, and maybe some uh, thatch scaffolding. But uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put a sloped uh, wood wall left right there and a sloped wood wall right on the other side then mirror that over on these sides and then let's go ahead and let's put some wood roofs right across the top here or stone roofs like so perfect and then what we can do is maybe some stone ceilings right across the top of here and uh, right here. Okay, there we go. And then once you have those ceilings in, let's go ahead, let's put some giant metal uh, trap door frames in and just line it up like that on that side and put one on this side for symmetry's sake. This is if you're using a bird uh, to ferry materials in. You don't have to have them, but uh, I think I'm gonna build this design with them in just to show you what it looks like. And then we'll put some ceilings right there. Okay, there you go. So that is the basic idea. Uh, once we have this in, just put in regular wooden gate frames on this side and on this side. Now that we got our roof done, we need to make a few finishing touches to the outside. So let's go ahead and do that by going inside, staying in here, and then let's put a fence foundation right here on the edge here, and then one right here on the edge. Oops here as well and then that way what we can do is we can snap some pillars here on this side all the way up to the top on this side just to kind of close off this gap here right up to there and then do the same on this side and then just for consistency's sake let's mirror that right here and then on the outside here we've got uh, to put two pillars right here on the edge to to pillar things. So there's two snap points. There's one that kind of sticks out a lot and then you press uh, your snap point cycle key. And there's one that kind of comes in and that's the one we want. Um, you can also, of course do the outside one if you want uh, but just make sure it's consistent on both sides 
Otherwise, you'll end up with different heights at the top of this, uh, and it'll look a little funky. So just make sure that it does not do that. Just do that. Yeah, there we go. And we can get rid of that, and then we can just build up. Oops. Like so. Perfect. Now, just mirror that on the other side. Okay, folks, uh, could you do me a favor? I get comments all the time about people saying they're gonna build something of mine or something I've made inspired them to be creative in some way. So if you're watching this and you've done that, and it doesn't matter if you've built something from this video or, or, or something else, even if it's like not an arc build, can you tweet me screenshots of what you've made? Um, because I, I just kind of like to see it. Uh, it's nice to know that uh, people are using my videos and, and actually building what I'm doing. And I just love to see some of that stuff. So send those to uh, SWChrisMC on Twitter. And I'll retweet them all so you can see what I've been up to. Or you can do it on my Discord too. Uh, the link to that is down in the description below. I think that's a really cool experiment to try. So let's go ahead and try it. And let's go ahead, of course, and get back to building the interior. So we've got the interior here and I've left this open because this is going to be our loading dock of sorts. And so when you're loading dinos off of this, you're going to need uh, a place to put them in because you're probably going to be loaded down. You're going to be encumbered. So here's my thought. I'm going to put a ladder right here. I think that's, yeah, that's good enough. Um, and then this is going to square us up when we climb it. So can I... Oh, is it gonna... Okay. Make sure it's actually on the right side. There we go. So you can climb it. And then when you get off of it, you're kind of squared up. And you can pull this down. Just straight. So it's... Well, do your best. Let's see. Maybe maybe if we do this, and we look down, and then... Nope, that resets it. Let's try just climbing up and over. There you go. That's how you do it. Okay. So... Let's line it up just about like that or so. Um, let's see what that does. Yeah, that works. And then what we could do is we can come over here all the way to the left. And we can just kind of line these up one at a time. So I'm going to put one right here. And then let's generate another one. And that way you can just kind of put these in a straight line so that they are just perfectly aligned. It's a really cool trick. I learned that from, I think, Aaron Longstaff. I think maybe he might have been the one that uh, suggested this. So I'm going to do it like that. And then once you got all three of them, all six, you're good. And you can put a little doorway right here if you want. You don't have to. Um, one of the things I did kind of notice in between shots here, uh, and we can delete this, is that uh, if you don't put a wall here, alongside here and maybe you want to put door frames it's up to you it doesn't count as a full structure see there's no house icon to my right you have to go all the way over here before it counts uh, because of this wall here and this this kind of roof thing um if you put walls along here and you build them up then the whole thing counts except for uh for some reason the hatch here it's kind of weird so you know your mileage may vary on on how you want this to look aesthetically uh, we can we can try this out in a bit um, but this is the way I'm going to build it right now, is just to leave this open. Uh, so this kind of creates a natural wall of its own. And you kind of come in here. And then here is going to be your building areas. So here I'm thinking, let's put a fabricator. We kind of need one. So let's go ahead and let's line it up like so. And then can we rotate so that it uh, faces the right direction? Yeah, there we go. So now you can just come over here, grab the stuff out, walk it up to your fabricator and fabricate it. Um, we can also do the same with the chemistry bench and smithy. So I'm going to put a chemistry bench. I'm going to line it up like so. Uh, and then rotate it. Paste it in. There we go. So now we have a decent chemistry look bench. And then we can do a smithy right here. I think that'll work great. And then, of course, you can have uh, forges and stuff. But this is kind of your basic workshop. Um, idea and then this wall here is great for lots of small storage if you want extra storage you can do this uh, you can just line it up like that and then uh, repeat 
and rinse and go in like a line like so. So that's pretty handy. So you have plenty of storage. And of course you can also use this for like a forge or something if you want for an extra, an extra thing. Uh, I don't have a forge on my hotbar right now, so I won't show you where to build it. Uh, you guys can kind of figure that out yourself. But this is kind of the basic kind of look here. I know to get the uh, fabricator going, you're gonna need electric cables and things running to and fro. Um, so the way you would just do that is, let's see, do I have any uh, foundations? No, I don't, but we can generate some. I would just uh, come out here, put your foundation on the outside, uh, assuming you're in a walled area. If you're not, you definitely wanna build it inside. But you can put your uh, generator on like a stone foundation right here. And uh, where's my generators? Uh, and then place your generator just right here, uh, along with uh, a straight cable or an intersection cable. Um, it should uh, it should snap. Yeah, there you go. And then you can just kind of run your power uh, however you want, uh, all the way across. So if we're gonna go over here, um, I think I'm not placing that right. I went ahead and put an outlet right here just so you can kind of see that uh, this will power uh, the fabricator now. And then you've, you can of course run an intersection over to the chemistry bench and power that too. Uh, so you can basically kind of lay that out however you want. Um, and speaking of laying it out however you want, let's take a look and let's see what we've got here. Yeah, that does not look half bad, does it? Looks pretty good, I think. I, I kind of like it. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do some alternate uh, layouts about how this might look, and uh, I'll come back to you. So the first thing you're gonna notice that's different is this thatch roof, I think. Uh, the thatch roof, I like this design better, but I know it's not as sturdy. Um, so I built it with stone in the tutorial because it'll survive dinos pecking on it for sure. Uh, so that's one thing you can go with. If we, uh, uh, let's go ahead and cheaty cheaty and fly up a bit and I'll show you kind of how it looks from a couple different angles. So I've, I've built thatch all the way around and um, there's a little thatch on the back side too. I will get to the greenhouse glass in just a moment here. Yeah, so a little thatch on the back side. Basically everything that's not glass is thatch that's a roof. Uh, that's basically how it goes. The second feature here, of course, is the greenhouse roof. Um, we'll show you how that looks inside, but that's another option you can do instead of the metal hatch frames. So if you're not planning on bringing a bird in or if you feel like uh, going through the, the main dino gates with your bird will suffice, then do that. Uh, I, of course, like that look as well. Uh, let's go ahead and, and walk around here. Then, of course, we have the door frames that you can mix and match in if you wanted to. So the door frames will ensure that the interior of the structure, well, maybe, yep, the interior of the structure will act like a house for the most part. Um, as you can see, this part acts like a house too because there's no hatches to kind of get in the way. Well, actually, eh, it is a little kind of iffy here. Uh, so, you know, your mileage may vary on how you build this, I suppose. I'm not sure how Wildcard's code is detecting the house mechanic or not. I'm not sure how that's working exactly. Maybe one of you guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, but the door frames do help that. They also might give you a little bit of extra protection from outside raiders um, so that uh, your vaults just aren't open to anybody to walk up and grab. Um, of course, this is a PvE build, so chances are PvE players won't be doing that to you. Uh, but if they, if, if it's a little iffy with your tribe, of course, maybe add these. Uh, they do add a little bit of alignment issues with the middle vault. Like here, it's it's sort of visible. But over here, it's barely visible. This is the only way you can get to it right here. Um, here, it's, a, it's, really, it's really kind of a tough call there. So you can do that. Um, on the interior, of course, this is how the greenhouse glass looks. I really like it because it really makes the interior of this nice and bright. It makes you feel like you are working outside just a little bit more, which, which I happen to enjoy. Um, and then I also added this extra row of ceilings up here, this wood ceilings on both sides. And then I uh, aligned it each side with storage chests. So the, the kind of the, the problem with these here is you have to jump up to access them. Uh, you can't access them just standing on the ground. Um, so there you go. 
You can do it that way. Um, you could rotate them 90 degrees, but they will stick through the roof. So if you really want that much storage, maybe consider squaring the roof off and adding vaults. That'll definitely give you a lot more than just these storage bins. Uh, so yeah. Um, what else? I think that is it for the improvements or the changes, the alternate looks. Again, you can mix and match any of these features. You can do the greenhouse glass roof with the stone roofs. You can do the thatch roof with um, the hatch frames up here. You can do it with or without these things, with or without the door frames. I don't like the door frames, so I'm getting rid of them. Besides, I have to film the first part of this video and then take a screenshot for the thumbnail, so I got to restore this anyway. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much uh, the tutorial. So if you enjoyed this vid, you are in luck because it's part of a whole channel full of art building videos. Uh, I didn't used to think I was very creative until I tried. So I'm making my videos to help you be creative too. So subscribe and then become a little more creative by clicking on one of the two videos on your screen. And uh, I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.